You know what they've also pledged to do? Support the nominee. Support it. If it's Donald yeah, Trump. Really. Was that a mistake? I don't know. I'm going to ask me if I'll support the nominee after the convention. No, they're in a spot where they've got to be loyal to the party. Here's what amazes me. Is Do you? The guy that gave money, uh, call me after the convention. I'm not going to say anything about our nominee supporting that person till after the convention. If Donald Trump's the nominee, the Republican Party will get killed, will get creamed, will lose, will deserve it. That was South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham's original take on Donald Trump, slamming him as a kook and a bigot. But since Donald Trump took office in 2017, Graham has changed his tune, turning into one of Trump's most faithful supporters. The pair often goes golfing together. Earlier this year, Graham even appeared on national television, choking up as he stumped for Trump's 2024 bid and solicited money from viewers. To aid the ex-president in his legal defense for his first indictment here in New York. 2024 mm -hmm. is the most important election in my lifetime. America literally is at stake as we know it, is at stake as we know it. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or 10 bucks, if you can't afford a dollar, fine, just pray. Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country, pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. But none of that helped him in his state and his home county over the weekend when he took the stage at a rally for the ex-president. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome United States Senator Lindsey Graham. Welcome to Pickens. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Well, well, you want to find something in common? <laughs> All right, thank you all. Thank you all very much. Welcome to Pickens County. A little bit about this county. Just calm down for a second. So why were the Trump fans relentless in booing their senator? Well, because he's not Trumpy enough. The local Greenville News spoke with supporters, with one saying he was tired of Graham's quote, wishy-washiness, adding, quote, he doesn't need to use Trump to get where he needs to go again. And even Trump seemed taken aback by the reaction, giving a half-hearted defense of Graham, a man who voted to acquit him in two separate impeachments. You can make mistakes on occasion. Even Lindsey down here, Senator Lindsey Graham. We love Senator Graham. We're going we're gonna to we're gonna love him. We're going to love him. I know, it's half and half, but when I need some of those liberal votes, he's always there to help me get them, okay? We got some pretty liberal people, but he's good. He's good. We know the good ones. I'm going to have to work on these people. I'm going to have to. All right. <laughs> he's, he's, he's there. He's there when you need him. He's there when you need him. I'm going to get him straightened up. Do you mind if I come here and campaign a little bit for you? David Jolly is a former Republican congressman from Florida. Jennifer Horn is the former chair of the New Hampshire Republican Party. Both have since left the party. They join me now. Woo! Okay, David, if the GOP is, as you have argued to me, a post-ideology party, not even performatively yeah. about fiscal conservatism or small government, just a shadow of Trump now, then they aren't booing Lindsey Graham over policy or votes he's taken. They're, they're booing him right. over loyalty, which given just how loyal he has been to Trump, tells you what exactly? Yeah, Alicia, a painful moment for Lindsey Graham. Um, I'll tell you this about Lindsey Graham. I was with Lindsey in Saudi Arabia and in a meeting with the king, Lindsey Graham says to the king of Saudi Arabia, don't worry about Donald Trump. 
Presidents come and go, but senators stay forever. And that little vignette told me a lot about Lindsey Graham, someone who likely plans to expire in the U.S. Senate rather than retire from it. And so he has compromised and sacrificed his own dignity and his own uh, political consistency to try to follow the path to power, to stay in the U.S. Senate. And it is emblematic of the rest of the party. They know that Donald Trump has this iron grip on the party. It is post-ideological. It is grievance. Call it populism if you want. The party has decided to look past all of the faults of Donald Trump. He's their guy. And so where Lindsey Graham in 2016 said, if you want to make America great again, tell Donald Trump to go to hell, right now he's saying, help me get Donald Trump to the White House, because Lindsey Graham is doing what every other Republican has done, which is to elevate Donald Trump. And adjacent to him, and no better than Lindsey Graham, are the Mitch McConnells and Bill Barrs, who today will condemn Donald Trump, but will also tell you they will support him in November if he's the nominee. Jennifer, I don't play sound from Donald Trump lightly. I try to be very selective about when we play it. And part of the reason that I wanted to play that sound is because I, I'm so taken by the fact that Trump himself is surprised at the reaction to Graham. And it, it almost reads to me as though even he has lost the pulse or the thread of the very group that he himself has activated. Well, there's no question that he was certainly taken aback at that event. And, you know, Donald Trump expects his people to just be with him, period, just be with him. But I think there's something kind of unique about Lindsey Graham, unfortunately, for both of them, you know, that bit that you played with Lindsey Graham asking for a dollar or a prayer mm -hmm. for Donald Trump, you know, begging, literally begging people to send a dollar for dollar for Donald Trump. And what I was thinking as I heard it was he sounds like a televangelist, you know, one of these guys on TV begging people to send the last dollar they have uh, to support, in this case, Donald Trump. And it's such a weak moment. It's so weakening to see that from Lindsey Graham. And I think that's what makes it so easy for Trump supporters to cut Graham loose, regardless of Donald Trump. They see Trump as a strong man, you know, as as the guy who's going to beat them all. After all, the, the government's coming after Trump uh, so that they can then get to his supporters. And Trump is the strong man who's protecting them, you know, from, from the deep state. And Graham has just weakened himself publicly to such a degree that even Donald Trump supporters uh, can't, can't abide by him anymore.